Hi guys, my name is Karan and I'm going to be talking about deep learning on Azure today on our brand new SKU powered by GPUs. So let's get straight into it. What is deep learning? Now deep learning is a type of machine learning and it really has two parts uh, of the story. One is the training side and one is the inference side. Training is the part where I'm actually taking a set of data and I'm actually training the computer to recognize certain things like this is a dog, this is a cat, and what the differences are. And I would do this over and over again, potentially millions of times. And then what I would do is once my model is accurate enough, I would take it to the inference side. I want to get some learning out of it. And so I would actually then do inference on it. So I would infer on the model that I've actually trained to figure out some intelligent learnings about it. Now let's, uh, let's talk about some examples um, what, where this is used today. So Seeing AI is a project by Microsoft where one of our employees is blind. Essentially he's got a camera in his, uh, in, his, uh, in his glasses and that takes photos, communicates with his phone, which sends those images up to the Azure cloud. It then does some training and recognition and then actually tells the person what he's actually seeing. So it completely changes the way that he's actually interacting with the world. He can now read a menu. He can actually tell a joke and figure out what the expression on the person is. So this is completely changing how he lives. Now another uh, pretty cool example is Skype Translator. Um, a person in Italy can talk to a person in US and not have the language barrier because all the, uh, all the actual translation of that language is happening in dynamic real time on a GPU by AI in Skype Translator. So this is pretty cool as well. And all of this requires speech to text and then translation, which is all done on GPUs. And then finally, this is a pretty another cool example where this is part of your life. This is a fridge and it's got some items in it. Now you can start to think about interesting ideas where if you're in a supermarket, you can potentially have your phone, talk to Cortana and ask, Cortana, tell me if I have any tomatoes left in the fridge. And the actual fridge will incite and actually infer and see if there's any vegetables left. Uh, and then it will recognize and it will actually detect an object and tell you back uh, some smart information about it. And this can extend to every different type of um, uh, appliance out there, for example. So all of this is powered by AI and AI is powered by training and machine learning um, and all of that runs on Azure GPUs. And this is all the stuff that is required to run computationally intensive training jobs. You'll be able to get different flavors of our NC-based series, uh, which is powered by a Tesla K80 GPU from NVIDIA. It's one of the most cutting edge GPUs out there today. Um, you'll be able to get one GPU all the way up to four GPUs. And additionally, we'll have a full node, which will give you four GPUs and is backed by infinite band, which allows you to scale out your jobs to multiple to hundreds and thousands of GPUs with very low latency connections between those VMs. Um, so this is almost bare metal type performance. So let's just actually go and have a look at how you can get started on Azure by actually running a deep learning training job um, and showcase to you what the demo actually looks like. So here we go. So this is, uh, this is actually a project called Azure Batch Shipyard. And it's actually a tool to help you deploy certain jobs through Docker to actually run and, and manage your resources. And so this is actually uh, open source today. You can actually go download the demo today. You can actually build it yourself and start running it as well. And this has got a lot of documentation. You can obviously run uh, these jobs on multiple different types of VMs in Azure, but here we're going to be actually using an N-series VM. So Batch actually has a lot of different types of recipes. And what I mean by that is it's actually got templatized versions of what you can do. So you can use CNTK, you can use CAFE, you can use uh, MXNet, you can use TensorFlow, you can use GPU or CPU. So there's lots of options out there. And we've actually prepackaged all of these things so you can, uh, you know, uh, in a turnkey way, deploy this stuff really quickly. So in this case today, we're actually going to be using the, um, the CNTK GPU Open MPI version. So what's actually going to happen is we're actually going to use the Cognitive Toolkit. It's going to be deployed by Azure Batch through a Docker image, and then it's actually going to run on a single GPU. And just to make things interesting, we're going to run it against the CPU machine as well so that you can see the performance difference between a CPU and a GPU. Now, just to quickly explain the concepts of Azure Batch, Azure Batch actually has two different concepts. One is pools and one is actually uh, jobs. And so let me actually go into the config here 
and showcase to you what this means. So here we have the config uh, where you can actually go and look at your storage account settings. Uh, you, can, uh, you can put in your Docker image. Now again, you can have multiple Docker images here because this is just a JSON template file. And you can actually get your, your Dockers deployed uh, and then actually reference them here. Now let's go back and actually look at the credentials. So this authenticates to your Azure Batch account. And your Azure Batch account can be actually launched in Microsoft Azure. You can actually get the keys directly from the portal here. You can get the primary access key, the name, and then you can just input them here and then you're good to go. And this will authenticate against that. And then finally here, I talked about jobs and pools. And so you can add a job here. You can see, I can see the name of the job. I can see the image that I'm deploying here. I can now actually even see the, the command line that I'm actually gonna be kicking off. So here you can see I'm kicking off the CNTK, the Cognitive Toolkit binaries, and then I'm providing it a bunch of parameters to run the actual training. And then again, I mentioned we are actually gonna be actually doing a pool spin up, which is essentially a code word for we have a cluster of machines. You can see that it's a standard NC6, which means it's a K80 GPU machine. Uh, and then it's uh, gonna be uh, uh, published by, uh, by Docker. Uh, and then you can see it's an Ubuntu machine. So let's just go directly into the demo. What I've got here, I've actually logged into a Linux VM. On the left hand side, we've got a, uh, a CPU machine. And then on the right hand side, we've got a GPU machine. And so let's just go ahead and run a training job that's actually gonna showcase 60,000 images running on, uh, on the GPU. So it's a training that's actually gonna happen. And so I'm, I've kicked that off on the right hand side. I'm gonna go on the left hand side and run it on the CPU as well. So what's actually happening here is uh, Azure Batch is submitting a job to actually run a deep learning training job. Now you can see there's different mini batch sizes. So we've got 15 different batch sizes. And the thing to actually notice here is the samples per second. This is actually how quickly the resource underneath the code. So the hardware in this case is actually processing through the actual set of data. And in this case, it's 60,000 images to recognize single digit handwriting. And on the right hand side, we can see this is just getting started. You can see that there's two cores on the CPU machine. They're all 100%. You can see the samples per second here is uh, 738. It's gonna hover around 800. On the right hand side, we can see that the samples per second is almost 10 to 12x uh, more than that, almost 12,000 samples per second. Um, on the bottom hand side is a tool called NVSMI. It showcases actually the utilization and memory and, and temperature and thermal uh, metadata about the actual GPU. So you can see that this is 78%. It's utilizing a single K80 GPU, so that's half a card. Uh, so this is pretty cool. And we're almost pretty much completed here. So there we go, it's 15 of 15. That one's still on the first one. There we go, it's already completed. Now, I've got my training job done. I've completed my modeling. Now actually I'm gonna go in and launch Paint. And what I'm gonna do here is actually draw a number here. So let's just go ahead and draw five. So there we go, we drew five. I'm gonna go ahead and save that file and then I'm gonna run my inference on that model. And so here we go, it's actually classified the image as five. So this is pretty cool. All right, now let's just go ahead and do another number just to make sure that this is not smoke and mirrors. So let's go ahead and draw an eight over here. So this is a very monkey eight, but let's just go ahead and do that anyway. And there we go, so now it says it's an eight. So this is kind of showcasing a real, real world uh, use case of how you can do training and inference as well. Great, so, so that hopefully gives you a really quick and a brief and a very simple idea of how to use deep learning and how to run deep learning jobs on Azure. So just to recap, what we showcase there is essentially um, Azure Batch Shipyard, which is essentially a, a way to, to farm out these jobs, different resources. We also showed off running a cognitive toolkit, which is our deep learning uh, library. Um, and then additionally, we were deploying this deep learning library through a Docker image, um, all very abstracted away. All you have to essentially do is provide some parameters, run a job, and you're good to go. So we actually showcase a very cool uh, little demo there. Now, uh, the call to action here really here is you can actually go and try this stuff out today. Uh, you can go and download this code. It's open source on GitHub. Um, the, 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 the link is on, on, um, uh, on your screens. Uh, you can go download it today. You can go try the Cognitive Toolkit. You can try all the recipes that we've actually released. 
So you don't actually just have to use Cognitive Toolkit, you can use TensorFlow, Torch, Cafe, um, you can run it on CPU, you can run it on GPUs, um, uh, and uh, you know, get started very quickly as well. So hopefully that, that provides you a really good overview. Um, thank you again.